Nairobi. All right, away from the politics of the day to a story that set the internet on fire. And of course, the families were livid yesterday after the pronouncements. Now, those families of individuals shot dead by the police during the recent anti-government protests have slammed the Inspector General of Police, Jafet Kome, over the remarks that Azimio leaders hired bodies from morgues to taint the image of the police. Now, the families now want the IG to apologize over that statement, accusing him of being insensitive. And, of course, he is accused of being ill-advised. Bramuel Buire went to one family in Nyalenda Estate, that's in the county of Kisumu, that lost two sons during the protest. You've seen bodies, about many bodies, put together. Then pictures are taken, thrown, all over the social media. Inspector General Japheth Kome on Tuesday when he claimed that Azimio Laumoja leaders hired dead bodies from the mug with the aim of displaying them to train the police service. According to the Inspector General, police conducted their duties in line with the Constitution of Kenya 2010. The IG statement has angered families who lost dear ones during the protests. Evelyn Achungo, a mother who lost her two sons has accused Kome of being insensitive. William alipigwa shingo, hii spina kode kakatika. Na Brian, na hiyo kunyongwa, walipigwa na hizi ribs. Na boots, buku. Na walindafia na kichwa saa. Minambia Kome. Kama kiongozi wa inzi, hafai kuongea hivyo. Hakuna mwenye nalapenda mtoto wake, auliwe stylee. Wangu, watoto wangu wakutolewa, wakua wagonjwa, hakuna siku wa maili ana kwa sitani. Toto wangu walikuwa wazima, walitolewa kwa nyumba wakapigwa, wakapelewa kwa barabara, wakatolewa kwa barabara, wakarisho kwa nyumba kama wajiewezi kabisa. Residents of Nyalenda, where incidents of police brutality were reported, have challenged the IJ to prove his claims. Kwa wapande wa watoto zangu, naomba justice itendeke mara moja. Na kwa ome ya kome mdomo yake, asionge hivya, onge kwa mtu mkugwa, kwa mtu mzima. Hakuna mtu anaweza tarajia mtu waki akufe, alete kutoka mogu tena arudishe. So we are really bitter on what IG said yesterday. You are a person to protect us. Now if you are talking that way to, to us, then we feel bad, we feel that we are neglect, neglected as a, a community. So kindly, before you utter any statement, I'm talking to you directly, before you utter any statement, please seek clarification from real people. Elsewhere, David Sokomo, a Kisumu best right activist and lawyer, has asked the IG to retract his statement and apologize. We've had uh, uh, people like General Kale Kaihura of, of Uganda who was used by the regime to kill thousands of people in Uganda. And now we all know what is happening to him. And you should also not forget that there is the doctrine of command responsibility under the ICC statute. And therefore, police need to know that if they continue violating human rights, at one point they can be criminally responsible for those actions. According to right groups, the number of people killed by police stands at over two dozens. Bramwell Bire, KT News, Kisumu. Away from that, President William Ruto on Wednesday, that's today, concluded his five-day tour.